I'll <clears throat> I'll start I'll start just for you. I'll I'll do it just for you. I was gonna give it a nice five minutes, but my for my loyal fans, I I will get it going. <clears throat> Where? Uh, well, we I say the collective we, me and this uh, bear and bird, are trying to finally wrap up. <clears throat> finally trying to wrap up this game. Got to do a few things. There's not too much left. There's two levels. It just so happens that the oh don't go that way. The two worst levels in the entire damn game. So that's really cool. Uh, and then I have to find the Cheeto pages, which are little buffs that if you find, give you a permanent like increase to your abilities. They don't make you invulnerable or anything, but they allow you to carry like more supplies. And I always forget about doing that. <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to for sure do that this uh, go around. So I'm standing somewhat of a damn chance against these guys. All right. I think, oh, I'm a little rusty here. Nope, I don't want to talk to you. But yeah, hey everybody. Glad you can make it, whoever's here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope I can help make it better in some way. Or maybe if you had a bad day, I help you forget about the bad day. No? Like, like I'm your dad. Yeah. I'm your dad. Just think about oh, uh oh, uh, oh no, too much dad talk. <laughs> Fuck. Oh go! Oh my lord. Ah. Okay. Whew. How's the how's the volume on the game? It feels really loud to me. Make sure it's good for y'all. I know it's greatly different what you guys hear and what I hear. Unfortunately. It's always that back and forth nonsense. Okay. All right. Oh, well, yep. So we have to break this. I'm too small to fit. I feel like the game is. This might call me, <clears throat> call me like spoiled or whatever. But oh no, how do I get back? Call me spoiled or whatever from like modern gaming. But the game feels like it's chugging. Like it's going. So I'm kind of loud. Okay. All right, I can turn myself down. I was having this issue the other day where I was re-listening to one of my recordings, and I was like, oh, I sound loud as hell. All right, let's turn myself down. All right, that should be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm so used to all the games lately I've been playing. <clears throat> this game feels like it's going so slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back. We're trying to wrap this annoying ass shit up. Get all this taken care of. We can move on to bigger and better games. Now, that's not to say... Oh, okay. That's not to say this game is bad, of course. But, you know, when you've played a game a million times, its age starts to show. And then you're like, man, I want to play the new shit that's out. Fun, the crazy fun shit. I'm stuck with... This smelly fucking bear and this smelly fucking bird. Don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'm still gonna do the modded Fallout thing. Um, uh, probably if hopefully. I keep saying there's not a lot left to do in this game, but I feel like it's gonna be more than I anticipated. That's why I started so early today at six. <clears throat> so I'm gonna wrap it up. My next stream I want to do is modded Fallout. And then eventually I want to go back to the Orc game and finish that because I think I stopped pretty close to the end. I, I don't really know how long that game is. Get, get boots. All right. I was browsing the web the other day and I came across this guy. I thought it was wild. I don't know. I don't know what this guy's <clears throat> name is. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know it to begin with. I don't remember it, but, uh, button work. So this guy, he starts stream, he starts his stream and he's, he's moderate. He's got like a moderate amount of like followers and like viewers and stuff. So he starts his stream up and he's just talking to people. And then somebody specifically in his stream is like, Hey, blah, 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 blah. You know, 
happy to make your stream. And the guy goes, oh my God, it's so-and-so. I love this person or like whatever, blah, 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 blah. They're so great. Basically, he knows who this like chatter is or whatever. And then he <laughs> he goes, how have you been? Where have you been? It's been for a, like a while, you know? And this poor person goes, oh man, my mom passed away. So unfortunately, I just haven't been able to make it. So like, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what kind of people you guys are, but I know if somebody in my chat, as heavy as that is, was like, oh man, hey, my mom passed away. Um, I wouldn't do what this guy did, which is totally, and this is old news. This happened forever ago. I totally wouldn't turn around. I gotta set something up real fast. I wouldn't turn around and immediately be like, hey, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to bum me out. We're not going to bum the chat out with your bad news. This guy is such a fucking <clears throat> like baby butt hurt guy. I, like the first thing, the first thing he sees is bad news. He starts like losing his shit and he's like, oh, we're not going to do that. In my chat starts yelling at him. And then he's like, you're getting a, I can't remember if he banned them or temp banned them or what. It was a wild. He was, and then he like, he got called out for his nasty behavior, of course. And then he was like, I don't even know that person that well. I don't, like, I don't even know who they are. That's that's like, that's like why I got so mad. And it's like, uh, clearly you realize they haven't been in your chat for a while. So, uh, what's up with that? So, I don't know. <gasps> He's here, the book! Oh, 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 oh. He's magic. <clears throat> magic cheats I have for you. No, not cheats. It's not, it's not cheating. Cause I, it doesn't, it only helps me win the game a little bit. Finders, bear, and birds. Uh, what is it? Blue eggs. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I have 200, instead of 100, I'll have 200 eggs now if I go put the cheat in. All right, see ya. But yeah, the guy, <clears throat> the guy was being such a turd. And then like, it was weird. He like tried to backtrack on what he did and then he didn't and then he did and then it was just, I don't know. I haven't kept up with it in a while. It was weird. I was like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't know. I like, I, like not to, you know, stroke my ego at any point or anything. I wouldn't sit there and if somebody came in there, I would just be like, hey, <clears throat> I'm not really good at these kind of things. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's very unfortunate. You know, hope you're doing okay. <clears throat> Hopefully you can just like sit back and have a good time, like watching the stream or whatever. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why you gotta be a, a see you next time about it, you know? If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a gamer, yeah. When you're a hey, when you're a gamer, you're the well, first of all, if you're a gamer, yeah, shut up, magic man. If you're a gamer, you're obviously the most oppressed of everyone out there. Alright. This guy's inside me. Um, you're the most oppressed person out there to begin with. If you're a you know a freaking gamer, <clears throat> so you know, dead mom. Oof, that's cringe. <laughs> dead mom. <Ugh. laughs> oh no, my chat's in the wrong. Oh well, ah, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I kind of like, I don't know, I think I like the chat over the brick. What do you guys think is better? Chat being on the left side or on over top of the brick? I can't quite. Oh, getting sick. Whoa, your mom is fucking dead? Dog, get out of my face with that shit. All right, did we get, oh, we didn't get that. Damn it. can't remember if I unlocked chat so right now chat is above the brick what I so I don't know what particular part you walked in on but I was talking about a oh no I was talking about a streamer who um, one of his chatters that he like really likes like he knows them very well like he realized they weren't in his stream for a while he was like, where, where have you been? Where have you been? And they were like, oh, my mom passed away. Very, like, not, like, weird about it at all. They were just like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to make it. My mom passed away. And this fucking guy had the, no, he had the nutsack to be like, 
Okay, you're not gonna come into my fucking chat and bum me and everybody else out. That's fucking rude. We don't do that here. I was like, what the fuck? And then he like banned that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to talk about it for a while, but it like kind of happened when I wasn't streaming for a bit. And then on top of it, I just kept forgetting. Like I was gonna talk about it last time. And I was like, I don't get that. I don't get that behavior at all. It's wild to me. And I was telling people here that are already here, like, that's a, oh, okay. Well, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just fucking up. I'm just talking to talk. Uh, like, not to stroke my ego, but it's like, if, oh, god damn, these bees! Uh, if, you know, if that was happening to me, I'm not the best at, like, comforting people sometimes. You know, I don't always know the right thing to say. But it's not really that hard to be like, Hey, really sorry about, really sorry for your loss. Hope, hope, you know, you're doing all right. Sit back and relax, you know. Jesus. It'd have been, it'd have been fucking truly. <laughs> I'm about to say something psychotic. It'd have been truly insane if he just like kept bringing it up for no reason. He was just like, oh yeah, you know, it's not like so-and-so's dead mom. Just like, just like being a real fucking asshole about it. Oh, since they want to bum me out, I'll just keep bringing it up. Bum them out. Get up there. I'm sure I'm peeking the mic uncontrollably. I need a, I need one of those special mics that doesn't like go haywire when you're just like fucking screaming into it. Oh, oh, oh God. I must fell. Uh, all right. We need to go... I raised the water levels, and it's the last thing I did. Was I raised the water levels? Very dead last thing I did. <clears throat> oh, um, I don't know how to say your uh, government name, Terra Terra Phil. Uh, did you ever get your bot fixed? I saw that the other day you were having issues with that, and it wasn't doing anything you were telling it to do. Where the fuck do I go? Not this way. Oh man, I had almost forgotten this lovely noise that this creature makes. They want to analyze this now. Oh shit! Get me look at the chat. Don't get me killed. <clears throat> I have one in my Amazon list right now. It's a Yeti for like nine nine. It comes with a pop screen, which yeah, that's what I'm worried about because I really <clears throat> like my S's and P's, or when I'm like clearing my throat. <clears> throat> Because I am a, a, a large fat man and I have indigestion, so I have to clear my throat all the time. <clears throat> uh, I'll never learn my lesson. Uh, not in this lifetime. But uh, besides the point, um, yeah, I want a pop filter because I'll be sitting there sometimes like, poo -poo, like real hard into the damn mic and I can like hear it when I listen back and play it and stuff. I. The Yetis, though, I it's weird. I hear mixed things. Like, I hear $99 is a really good, like, price for, like, a really decent, like, microphone to record and stuff with. But I, I hear mixed things about Yeti. Yeti mics are one of those things that it's like you'll turn around. One person will be like, oh, they're, they're fucking majestic. I could make love to my Yeti mic. I just love it so much. Uh, you know, and that's all well and good. I, I have products like that. But I won't talk about which product those are because they're for adults. Anyway, um, I'm supposed to make love to him. Anyway, uh, uh, my mic's fucking up. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, but uh, uh, what am I talking about? Oh, and then other people will be like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, technophiles. They fuck their instruments. Um, technophiles. Technophiles. And then other people hate. And then other people hate yetis. They, they fucking hate them. That's what I was trying to get at. Some people are just like, oh, they're the fucking worst. They're overpriced. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, here makes things, but almost here makes things. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the that's the most frustrating thing is, um, okay, I'll call you. I'll call you Morden. Don't worry. I think that's the other thing that's kind of frustrating about a lot of like, especially when you're trying to get into like. St Yo, I'm not looking at chat no more. Not today. Done. Stupid bucket bucket. Um, why does he slide? Why has he got little slidey physics? Um, anyway, uh, well, especially like streaming and like recording anything, you'll look up like, oh, what's good equipment? What's good equipment? And man, nobody can like, it, it's any, it, I guess it's any, I guess it's any kind of thing that you review 
uh, or like anything that you're like trying to review, it's just you're gonna have people that are like, this is the fucking worst thing ever. Like the computer I have now is pre-built, and hey, it's our buddy. A phone once more, another spell they get. We don't care what she has to say. Let's fucking skip all this. I'm speed running. Nasty witch, so cold. I shall tell. Red feathers. All right, the one I want is gold feathers, but I don't remember where that is in the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh well. But any, you know, anytime, anytime somebody's reviewing anything, you're gonna get these insane, crazy different types of reviews. Like my computer, like I was saying, it was pre-built, and I love it. It's been great, and it's never failed me. I think like to one time it did something weird, and I got it fixed. No issue. Fuck. Damn. Fuck. Shit. All right. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So reviews. Um. <laughs> This fucking kitty gets a kids game. Oh, it's for kids. It's a kids game. Uh, anything you know? Because somebody was reviewing this and they were like, "Oh, this computer is the worst. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't work." You know, blah 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 blah. The people that made it are at like they, they're assholes and they deserve to die. It's like, oh my god. You know, so it's like, you know, and then I I, I try and trust like the people who are not like too scathing across the board they're just like yeah it's it's good it's a good uh it's a good product i, I like it. it it does this sometimes you know that's it and then you're like oh i feel like i can really trust this person they're they're really reliable i, I like i like them a lot but i don't know it's a mixed bag mixed bag and amazon's the worst because you can't trust um can't trust uh whatever it's called um reviews sometimes because you're like oh is it a fucking bot like is this a real person like saying how great this fucking thing is the unfortunate thing is people usually only review when they really love or really hate something i hate it yeah that's yeah that's exactly what i was trying to say it's like oh yeah you try and find the neutral ones where people are just kind of like hey you know this is pretty good and i've i've started to get into the habit i think it's because i'm getting older um and like the old man in me is trying to like emerge and um break forth from me like an insane chrysalis chrysalis do uh butterflies do the chrysalis thing chalice no that's a that's a cup shed my wings create my wings like a butterfly caterpillar caterpie i fucking fell um chrysalis yeah uh i've started reviewing things embrace your inner old man it feels good sometimes it feels really good but i've started reviewing things because i'm like you know I really liked this product. Um, it will make me weaker, actually. <laughs> it will not. It'll, it'll do the opposite of strong. But I've started reviewing things because I'm like, you know, if I like something, I really want people to, like, no, it's a good fucking product. You know, I don't want people to... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a cauldron. Uh, I don't want people, you know, to... You know, I, I want to help as best I can. Same thing with like restaurants and stuff I go to. Like if I have a bad time, I'm not going to review it. I'm not going to bother unless it's like really bad. And I'm like, Hey, like a video game, probably I'd review negatively. Like, Hey, this is like early access. It's really bad. But you know, like a restaurant or something, if I had a bad time, but like, you know, whatever it's, that's, I'm not going to concern myself and like stress myself out about it. <gasps> Yay. We found it. I've been wandering around. I did it! I'm unlocking the the worst the worst fucking level! Yeah! This level's so fucking bad! Oh my god. Um anywho. Like if I had good service at a restaurant nowadays, like I like I thought the guy was really cool, I'll be like, hey, um, can you grab your manager real quick? I wanna tell them that like you were like great. You know, stuff like that. It's just like I don't know. I feel like there's not enough people in, uh, going around nowadays, like praising stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just uh, not to be like cynical about it, but it's man. It's like you fucking can't turn on anything without it being just a oh, I'm going to drown Uh, being like bummersville. I was on TikTok for the silly laughy ha's and you you get like bummer just bummer shit and i'm like god damn it and it's annoying because I, I i like to what i like to do is i like to find weird things that i see 
on like TikTok or the internet and then talk about them on stream and get like ideas, you know, to keep my, keep me going. Cause you know, sometimes I'll have a lull in my fucking brain and I won't be able to get a thought out and I'll just be sitting here quiet, not talking. And thank you. I appreciate that more than I, I, I also like how I review things as well. I got a, uh, I think it's a good habit to have, uh, one of these windows is punchable and, uh, the scariest fucking monster goes to this guy. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Yeah, we're just ruining these guys' fucking lives. They just joined the Navy. And we're stealing their notes. Destroying them in their homes. I can't remember if there is a... Ah, yes. A memo token. Okay. Yeah. Send him to the fucking home. Uh, okay, there's nothing else. Oh, uh, funny little... Hold on. Forgot about this. Funny little... Oh, shit. Uh, let's go up, up, up. There we go. Uh, a little reference to Conker's Fur Day. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Can't fucking talk. But yeah. So, I mean, I like... And I sit there and I think, I'm like, man, I should talk about this on stream. But then I realize it's like... It's a really, like lame sad thing to talk about and i'm like uh it's not worth it like i don't need to be talking about that stuff it's a shame it's really a shame not enough happy thoughts in the world and uh no one's i don't know can't really blame anyone in particular our our government overlords <clears throat> the uh the the demons that control oh the demons that control us dun 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 wiggle down the ch uh wait, chimney wiggle down the La ladder staircase shit I hate this level it's already making me stupid but I've put six in there S yeah the the lizard people yeah the the fucking the this the um but not the lizard people you think it's scalies they're the real problem they're the they're the real monsters. Oh, I'm just incoherently going to locations. I need to like set a path or else I'll get sidetracked and be like, what do I do? Alright. Oh yeah, these nightmare monsters. Gotta avoid them because they'll explode. Oh I don't need this in my fucking life, dude. I don't need Oh shit. Well I was gonna go out there. Just like the creepers from Minecraft, am I right? <laughs> Good god damn. All right. Let's see what we're cooking with here. Going here. I think the other door is open. I don't have to drop it from the top. Uh, that's what I don't like about this level. You have to look around a lot because you're in these really weird confined spaces and the camera is very fixed on a location. Jesus Christ, how horrified. Oh, shit. I hear the pleas of a prisoner. I will save you. Do not worry. I think I'll save you. Where is he? He's whistling. Is he down? Oh, did, did they hide him? I hate. Oh, oh, I can't stand they do that in this game. They hide things sometimes around the corner where you can't. Get a little peek. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Fucking fisticuffs here. Hey! We got him. We got a little buddy. Cool little buddy. Cool little guy. Oh, the whistling. That's funny. I, dude, I. Man, I never did play the, uh,. Prop hunt games for uh, Call of Duty. I played the, not to be a fucking hipster about it, but I played the OG ones on Gary Mod and stuff, where like uh, all those came from. Which Gary's mod was a wild, wild wasteland. Hey, hello Pearl. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and Gary's mod was a wild wasteland of insanity. I remember I was on a, um. What was it? It was a server dedicated to watching. It was a movie theater server. I don't know if anybody knows what those are. They're servers 
that you could go and uh, you I I prefer you know what I prefer neither. Um, you will call me nothing. Do not refer to my name ever. Um, you will call me by my middle name, uh, and only the truest of true people know that. Um, but it was a movie theater server where all it was was a bunch of rooms that you could go into in this server. And it looked like a big ass movie theater and you would, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a good, yeah, that's a bad, fuck you. That's a good joke. I didn't even think about underscore being my middle name. I just was like, ha, I don't have a middle name. <laughs> that's really, really good joke on my part. I'm so silly. I'm so goofy and crazy, dude. Oh man. Uh, <gasps> Look at this orange fella. <clears throat> what was I talking about? Server. Movie. Theater. Looks like a movie theater. <clears throat> and you go into different theater rooms. And you can... Uh, you can go into the, the movie theater room. And you can like put in a URL. And you can like watch a video. Like a YouTube video or something. And it was... Um, wild it was wild at like the crazy like the craziest shit people would put on uh the the people with like the craziest fucking conversations that i saw people have there was um oh what was it the server owner was an insane person i don't remember their name but if you were a girl in the server and they found out he'd be like this is my it was Discord Kitten before Discord Kitten was a thing. He'd be like, this is my little kitten. Nobody will bother her. Nom, 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 nom. And the guy was like 30. And I was like, I was like 17 at the time when I was doing this shit. And uh, these people were not always. Yeah, very gross. These people weren't always um, old, older, old enough. It's weird, man. It's weird what our parents like when they were like, some parents didn't realize when they were like, and here's the internet. Like, just how insane it would be and how crazy it'd be. Uh oh, my stream's a little jacked up. Let me fix it real quick. My. That's better. My screen capture, because I can only screen capture. Uh, my screen capture can only. Um, it can only do something. I don't know where I was going with that. My fucking stream labs just messed up and I had to fix it. Holy crap. I don't know. My 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 thing wasn't big enough, so it wasn't covering the full stream. It was really weird. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I I really don't think a lot of parents like realize like they're like, oh, here's the internet. Like nothing bad'll happen. <laughs> uh it'll be it'll be crazy. Yeah, live leak was wild. I remember I remember I had a buddy. His name was Eugene. I'm so bad with names, but for some reason I remember his because he left such an impression on me. Such a lovely young man. Uh, and Eugene really like broadened my horizons about the internet and stuff. And we'd go to his place and I'd spend the night. And uh, yeah, yeah, I have to I have to interact with fucking people I don't know, dude. I gotta talk to people I don't know. It's it's don't talk to strangers. Everyone's a stranger in my eyes now, and I gotta talk to them. And I love it um, as long as they're not mean to me. Um, but my friend Eugene, I remember, we I went to his house and he had an after school thing, so he couldn't um, hang out with me as soon as I got to his place after school. And I was spending the night or the weekend or whatever. And once you put something in it, it never goes away. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people like nowadays for some reason just don't realize that they just don't realize like, hey, that shit is forever. Someone's a, yeah, yeah. I, I dude, I was in DC. Months ago, months ago, and I used an Uber for the first time. I've never been so nervous about anything in my life in a while. I was like, he's going to kill us. Perfectly normal, man. Minding his business. But Eugene, his, so his, uh, what was it? His, I think it was his sister was like, she was like five years older than us. Uh, maybe even older than that. And we were in middle school and she was like, oh, you know, are you like a big nerd like Eugene? And I was like, yeah, he's a big fucking TNT box. He's going to blow up big box. He loves when I shoot the ovals at him. Oh, see, this is what you've been missing, Pearl. I'm skipping all my streams and you don't get to see me fight boxes. 
Guys, I... I think he'll... Okay, I was like, uh... He's not doing anything. Uh... Oh, yeah. You guys like this? This is really good, huh? And his sister was like, hey, are you a big nerd? And I was like, yeah. And then she showed me, like... I'll never forget. She showed me Devil May Cry something. I don't remember which one it was. She showed me Devil May Cry a trailer for it. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. I was like, it blew my, it blew my fucking mind as a kid. Ah. All right, come on. Come on, box boy. Oh, shit. Yeah, here we go. We're going to put this on easy mode. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haunt your, haunt your family. Yeah, yeah. So he was a, he was a big box boss, which is a very fun thing to say. Box boss. He was a boss that I just had to beat to get a jiggy. I have to go around the world and kill the inhabitants and take their treasures, and then I will kill a witch at the end, and I will save my sister, like a hero. Ah, murder. But uh, I remember I saw Devil May Cry, and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. My mind is blown. Uh, and hey, don't call me that. That's mean. I don't. I was going to make a joke out of like colonizer and the word color, like crown or something. And I was like, I don't think I can make the joke work. I can't get it there. I'm not a colonizer. I leave the area once I'm done. I was like, I like, I color in like a book or something. I don't color in fucking coloring books. Uh, you guys are bad. You guys are bad people. You guys are going to make me say something bad. It's not even going to be my fault. Yeah, I'm a Viking. Yeah, I'm a Viking. That's a cool way to look at it. I'm a fucking Viking. Yeah, ban ban us. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just going to bend them all. Hey, I broke it. Get, get. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, that's a bad place for the steering wheel. I have to, I think I can break this. I can. Oh, sneaky. There's a demon. But yeah, and then I remember she got bored of entertaining me, my friend's sister, and like showing me like a bunch of nerd stuff. So she was like, uh, just go in his brother's room and like play on the computer or whatever. This man, I, little middle school boy was so, I was so scared. I went to his room, turned on the computer. I feel like I'm gonna break this one too, but I can't. Um, I do my thing or whatever. And I open it up and the front page, like, it's like, oh, it's defaulted onto like, I don't know. The ladies weren't wearing a lot of clothes and they were in interesting positions and it terrified me. I was like, ah, oh no, it's, <laughs> it's people with little clothing. And I got, I got terrified. Ah. All right. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, yeah. And that, that's, yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, so like, I remember when I sat there and I was like, I got to stop playing the game for a second. I, I remember when I sat there and I was like, not that moment exactly, but like later in a little bit life, a little bit, a little bit later, I was like, hey, boobs, I think there's something to this. I think these things are pretty cool and I don't understand why. And uh, I had no idea why. All right. I have to listen to the song that plays in the background. Cause it's the answer to this puzzle that I'm about to do. And I don't want to look it up, even though I'm lazy. I think it's... Well, okay. Damn it. We're... Great start here. Alright, it's three. Oh my god. It's not doing it in the song. You'll hear like whistles blow. That's how you figure that's like brr, brr. Shut, shut up. How long is this song? I'm gonna look this up in a second here. <laughs> Go 
Google. Alexa, Banjo Kazooie whistle puzzle. Yeah, it's the horns at the end. Oh my god, I'm gonna go insane the song so long. I'm not crazy. That's how you figure the puzzle out. I already know it's three starts. Am I three two three? You lied! How could you be so cruel? Carl, you would have killed me. <laughs> you would have, you would have sent, you would have sent my poor little sprite on the screen to hell directly. <laughs> I swear, it's I'm not hearing the whistles as well today. I remember last time I played the game, I was like, it's so obvious. All right, we don't want to go inside the ship yet. We want to do as many stuff outside the ship as we can. There it is. See, you hear it? Oh, it's like right at the end there. It's six notes, which is insane. Oh yeah, yo yo yo! I don't get paid enough for this. It's too much. I can't do it. The banjo kazooie, the kids game. It's going to kill me. Um, but yeah, no. Back to the topic at hand we were talking about. Um, yeah, when I was in. Oh wait, hold on. I have to multitask. Hold on. No, do it. Come on, break the window. I know you can. I know you can. I can, I think. It's been so long. I can, Cause I can go in here. Yeah, I can go in here. I'm not crazy. But yeah, we were talking about, we we're talking about breasts. Sorry, let me get to the topic back in here. We we're talking about breasts. And I, when I was a, 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 a little bit older in middle school, I was like, these things are so fucking cool, dude. I was like, I don't, but I don't know why. And so it's just like, ah, oh, man. I remember not paying taxes, and I think that's all I'm just like trying to get at, and I miss those days. <laughs> Alright, I think I can... No? Imagine days before the internet and OGS's where... You had to figure that shit on your own. OSG's? And OSG's were... What are OSG's? Is that a library? Is that code for library? You'd go to a library. I bet you would, Morden. You like the library, don't you? You like learning. Ugh. Learning. Official strategy guides. Fuck. I remember, hey, I remember I had, I used to collect those for like all the games I had. I had um, Oblivion. I had Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I had Final Fantasy X. Um, I forget which Final Fantasy one I had. I had like two more. Um, I had a Fallout one. Oh my God. They were, they were so cool. You, you, dude, you felt like a, you felt like a, like a fucking genius. You were like, I control the game. I am the game master. You, it, you felt like a god. It was, it was great. And I remember, I remember, um, funny story about, uh, I, I, I'd get the fancy hardcover ones because I thought they would look good or stuff. So. Yeah, they were great. They were all, oh, here's the window I break. Oh, whoa. Um, game. Okay. Don't fuck me. <laughs> I remember. So, like, video games are the reason I, like, learned a lot of, like, really weird words and, like, phrases and stuff. Oh, wait. Easy. Haha, <laughs> easy, dude. Easy. I'm a pro. Um, I remember in the Oblivion Strategy Guide, I don't know why this stuck with me so long, but in the Oblivion Strategy Guide, there was the Dark Brotherhood quest where you have to kill everybody at a party. And there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can literally just run in and kill everybody, or you can run in and, like, trick everybody into killing each other, which is... Um, looking back pretty insane, but hey, it's kind of funny. I mean, like, right? You know, like tricking these people into going insane. It's kind of funny, right? So it was a quest for the Dark Brotherhood. 
uh, the yeah, the whodunit quest. Exactly, yeah. That's a very, it's a very good way to put it. The whodunit quest. And there was a, a ooh, and there was a um, section where it said, "Use your silver tongue." Yeah, where you're trapped in the mansion. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And they, uh, what is it? They in in the guide. I remember specifically in the guide. It says, use your silver tongue to convince so-and-so to do such and such. And my dumbass child mind was like, silver tongue, what spell is this? And I was scrounging. I thought it was an item. I thought it was a weapon. I thought it was like armor. I thought it was a necklace. I thought it was a spell. I looked everywhere for the silver tongue, quote unquote, like thing in the game. And then it was like, I don't know why I remembered that for so long in my life. And then years later, um, I think I can make this jump. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, years later, somebody explained Silver Tongue in like something I was watching. And it wasn't like even to me. I, would, I didn't ask. And um, I uh, got a great stream. I'll be lurking. I'll be a good Thank you so much. You take it easy. I hope you are you doing art. I'm guessing. I hope you have a good art stream. If you're not doing art, I hope it's a bad stream. Whatever it is, I hope you have a terrible time. Um, no, I hope you have lots of fun. Um, it's art. <laughs> uh, and so somebody on the TV explained what it was or whatever. It was like what Silver Tongue was, and I was like, oh. Oh, all oh, those years ago. Like, it, it, oh man, it blew my small, small mind. And I was like, Silver Tongue, that's just good when you, you're just good at talking to the people. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm dumb. I'm not the in most intelligent man. Oh shit. Yeah, so here's the awful thing about this level. You actually can't swim in the water because you'll run out of air because the water is so toxic. So, if you go under it, you run out of air faster. It's really annoying. I want this level to be donezo. Gone. From my life. From my memory. Forever. Oh. 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 Yeah. I, I will... I, I think it's one of the best ones ever. Because I remember... Uh-oh. I remember I used to... I used to save the game before doing that quest. And I would do it a bunch of different ways. And I thought that one was great. Could it be linked to my visions? Um, it's a cool, fun inside joke for some people here. Um, but uh, brain is glitching. Yeah, the Dark Brotherhood quest. I honestly thought the Dark Brotherhood quest, I this might be controversial. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I thought the Dark Brotherhood quest line in Skyrim kind of lackluster i thought killing the people at their wedding whoever they were i don't know i wasn't paying attention um killing the people at their wedding which if you're a stranger to the stream and you don't know what skyrim is i promise it's a video game and i'm not killing real people at a wedding um don't mind me <laughs> we're just being silly um all right we gotta get out of here oh i gotta go in there forgot about that don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Yes. Uh, you're a loser, dude. Um, but uh, I, 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 uh, I just didn't think I just didn't think the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim was very exciting, very fun. I just I, I didn't get anything out of it. It was like it's like happenstance that you find out like you're special or whatever, and then like. Cicero, while he's like a unique character, he's kind of annoying. I really won't lie. Like, he's silly. But his character's a little annoying, and you know, he's like the only one that survives, except for like, I think like one other person. And, you know, I, you know, honestly, I never thought about this. Both in Oblivion and Skyrim, you end up destroying the Dark Brotherhood that, like, they don't like you at first, and then you get, like, bigger and popular, and then everybody's like, we love you. You're a hero, and they clap for you, and you're a god among them. But, um, get that shit. Uh, but then out of nowhere, they just all die for something. It, it's it's really dumb. And now that I think about it, I hated, I hated that about, um, Oblivion. 
how like you finally earned the respect of these like strangers, which is all I crave in real life. And then pff, they're all dead. Get fucked. Like it's a cool twist, I guess, but eh. yeah, the, the, I would. I'll also say this. I'll say the twist for um, Oblivion is better than uh, Skyrim's. Yeah, but Oblivion, you kill them all yourself. Yeah, that's true. That's also true. That's a bit more, bit more exciting and fun. And it's weird too. I remember a. I uh, I really love the Oblivion Dark Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, Oblivion's is definitely way better. I I used to like try and cheat the system so much in Oblivion. I remember I would get a shield and at the goddamn you, at the beginning of the game, I would go to that island right out of this right when you get out of the sewers and there was a mud crab on it. And I would take my shield, I tape down my block button and I would let the crab attack me for like hours just so I could level up block to like 100 and then I could level up a bunch and shit. And then I would just coast through the game. And another thing I did was, I forget what kind of magic it was, but um, it was a school of magic that basically like turned on, oh, ready? It turned undead basically to make them like run away from you. And if you went down in the Dark Brotherhood cave, you could shoot that skeleton with that ability and nobody would aggro to you and he would just run away. And I would just do that shit over and over and over and over and over again. And I would get like max of whatever that magic school was. Restoration, yeah. So I would just max it out. Yeah, I found so many like little like I'm so fucking clever, and so fucking smart like things I would do in that game. Such a such a fun little such a fun little game. I did. I, I have thought about playing Oblivion on stream, but a part of me is worried that it'll have the effect that Banjo Kazooie's had, where sometimes while I'm playing the game, I talk too much about the game and not just like in general. But that's like a me problem, or like I also find myself not talking at all because my brain is putting every ounce of juice into remembering you know what the heck I am doing you know what I mean so yeah you know you know how it is eh? oh wow what the hell I gotta get oh, oh, oh I don't even know where I gotta go shit I gotta go across the boat how do I oh okay I'm gonna let this reset I just I oh, wolf Oof, I do. I forgot what I'm doing. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, 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 I know. Come on. All right, I'll read that chat message in a second. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go as my guy walks as slow as fucking possible. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. As long as you're under this thing, it's fine. For the greater good. The best moment in Skyrim is during the Dawnguard questline when you head to the Forgotten Vale for the first time and fight this, the two dragons in the lake. So, I did the Dawnguard questline once, and I don't remember, like, anything from it. I remember going to the Vale and being like, whoa, this is, like, crazy. Oh, my God. Whoa. But that's it. That's all I remember. I don't know why. I remember killing the guy at the end. I remember Serana, I think, getting Serana on my side. And it's funny because I remember when, because I always had Lydia with me. I remember blocking out the sun. Yeah, I thought that was really cool too, shooting the arrows. Um, I remember, what was it? Lydia was like my go-to person just because they're so easy to get and they're pretty reliable. And I'd be like, all right, Lydia, let's go. Let's do all the adventures together. And then as soon as Serana showed up, I was like, I don't want to play with you anymore. And I like kicked Lydia the fuck out of my group. And I was like, Serana, she's perfect. Her AI is crazy too. Yeah, Serana for the W for sure, Mr. Shroom. Um, she's, her AI is fucked though. She does the weirdest shit. Um, can't think about so I had to stop bringing her. I saw, um, I saw a video of Serana like AI doing weird things. And one of them was she would get up. If like, if you were at like a, a merchant stall or something, she would walk behind the stall, lean on it and look like another merchant that was like there to sell you stuff. It's so weird. She had like, ah, oh, oh, okay. She had like all of these weird, like NPC, I guess she's an NPC, but like non-companion behaviors, NPC stuff. It was so weird. 
Alright, let's try this again. Oh, that's a nice camera angle. Just can't fucking see anything. Yeah, I, I that was something else I didn't like about um, Fallout 3 was the companions were kind of neat, but they could die really easily and they weren't. I hate I hate when your companions are like killable. Cause it's like like your game is your game is flawed. My companions are gonna fucking bite the, the dust. Like I can't can't save them. You know, they're gonna die. And go, go up. Fox, the best boy. Yeah, and he was awesome, but he could die and it sucked and he was so strong. Um, what was it? Uh, Fallout 3, if your companion gets the kill, uh, you don't get any XP. And it was like, well, why the fuck do I bring you along? I literally can't get stronger. You're a super mutant who shoots everything so goddamn fast. Because he has a, to quote Mr. Bromdak, he has a goddamn Gatling laser. I, I could be crazy, but I think in... Fallout 3, your companions, yeah, four, four they don't die, four they don't die, three they die, and in New Vegas they don't die, unless like survival mode I think is what it's called, so there's that, alright, there's a trick, damn it, I missed it, ah, alright, there's a honeycomb in there that I gotta get, yeah, because I remember, I remember Fox died, on me and I was pissed. I was like, I'm never bringing anybody with me again. Yeah, I, I hate when games give you like really cool companions and then, oh shit, and, and like invalidate them entirely. It's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> really cool game. Shit. Uh, I almost died though. Hey. This is a very hard, I'm so sorry. Y'all gotta watch me do this. I apologize. I just don't want to die at the end of the fucking game. I gotta do this. Damn it, you fat bear man! Remember the ending of Fallout 3 where you turn to Fox and say, Hey man, can you go to the chamber? And he's like, lol, nope. <laughs> I remember, I, I didn't like the, the way that game ended. I liked it, like, I think it was with Steel Rain or whatever it's called. I, I liked how that kind of ended, the, the add-on they did. Yeah, and then it was, it's like, you can, it was dumb because even though you could like convince people to go in there for you, like there was a Brotherhood of Steel person that you could convince. And if you put them in there, you still die anyway. So it's like, oh, we did it. So it's like, what's the point? What is the point of all this? Yeah, I didn't like how that friggity fracking game ended. And then your, your dad dies. My favorite is, um... My favorite ending, for those who don't know, Fallout 1, where your vault is like, hey, we have this thing that keeps us alive. We need you to go in and um, we need you to go out in the wilderness and go get another one. And you're like, of course, I'll do that. I love you guys. You are a family. We've been together forever. These bastards, these bastards, when you bring them back, I think it's called the Gek. When you bring them back the Gek or the Purifier or whatever, these fuckers, they go, thank you. Now you must never return. And you're like, what? What? What do you mean? What? And they're like, yes, don't ever come back. You just, you just stay away forever, okay? And your character's like, what the hell? Why? And oh! And they give you a terrible reason. They give you a terrible reason. It's like, wow, well, you're like... You've been on the outside and everything, and that's not really good. All right, I'm actually gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the level and come back, because I think if I keep playing and I like die, I lose all my progress in the level, and I will turn off the stream if that happens, because I'll go insane. I'll lose my ever loving mind. <laughs> but everything's reset now, which is a little annoying. But I not everything, but some stuff. Some stuff. Oh, yeah, goofy. You tried. Oh, yeah. I despise level. I'm, I'm, I'm in the camp of... I, like, fall at New Vegas is great. Honestly. I played it as a kid in, like, early high school, I think. 
And I remember I was like, this is great. And then I learned that people hated it. Like when I got older, I learned like a lot of people hated it on release and stuff. And for a while after release, and I was like, but why? It was so great. It was fun. I thought it was way better than the third one. They changed some stuff I didn't like. Like I didn't really like the infamy stuff where like people would like start hating you and shit. I wasn't a fan of that. I didn't like how some armor was tied to that. But like going back, I'm like, yeah, it's not the best, worst idea. Like you can blend into like the society and everything and not have to worry about like getting brutalized or whatever. But that game, man, it does such a bad job at making me go. Yeah, I'm gonna side with the Legion. They're um, they're really cool guys. Like they're the f the fucking worst. They're the fucking worst. Oh shit! I forgot about this part. On the note of Vegas, the original Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas Two were bangers. I, I, you know what? This is gonna probably surprise people. I've never played a Rainbow Six game. Never played a single one. Chase wants to know if you are doing good on the game. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm like in the literal hardest level right now. And I've only died once. So I think that's pretty good. You know, if I was to judge myself. I've done worse. Where I've like died and lost everything before. So as long as I don't do that, I'm fine. But yeah, I've never played a single. I've never played a single Rainbow Six game. Um, like I haven't played the, especially I haven't played the Siege, I think, which everybody loves. Well, uh, love hate kind of thing. But I, I haven't, I haven't played that either. Are they? Hey, oh shit! That's I gotta do that now. Oh fuck! I don't know if I can do that. Shit. Uh oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die! Oh no, 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 fuck, I forgot. Um, I was gonna say, are the Rainbow Six games on Steam? He's like, oh, I have, I, he's my number one fan, dude, I love that. Um, if they're on Steam, I might try them. You know, play them on stream or something. I don't know anything about them. I never played the, um, uh, what was it? I never played, uh... What's that other game? Oh no, I think I'm going to the front of the boat. Oh, it's too late. No way, no way I get this right. No way. Oh my lord, I wasn't even close. I also think I went to the wrong side. Oh god. Oh, I was on the wrong side. Ugh. All right, well, while we're here, let's kill one bird with a stone, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm going to drown. Holy fucking God. I mean, I'll try them. If they're not expensive, you know, like I, I've, I've learned that some people out there like take advantage of our nostalgia and they charge like way too much for a game that's like decades old it's very annoying <coughs> nintendo um not that i would know any off the top of my head but um yeah if i look at them and i see they're cool um splinter cell that was was i never played the splinter cell games either and i know those were so popular i know the splinter cell games were so popular they're 999, but I'm sure they go on sale like Left 4 Dead. Oh, okay. Left 4 Dead would be a fun game to stream with a bunch of people too. Get a bunch of people to play that. Maybe we should convince Pearl to get to get Left 4 Dead and we'll play that with uh, her. That'd be pretty funny. This music. Uh but yeah, I never played Splinter Cell. Um I this might surprise people. I've never played a single Zelda game. Uh, I played, what was it? I played Breath of the Wild for like an hour. I played Breath of the Wild for an hour and I went, this is not so bad. And then I died. <laughs> I died, lost everything and went, 
fuck this? I haven't played it since. <laughs> Matt and I are talking about trying to get Pearl to play realistic shooters, but we don't know if she would like the killing. I, I think if the... So, I think if the killing isn't, like, too realistic, I think she would be fine. Uh, like, if it's, like, silly little zombies, I think she could be cool with that. But I feel like if it's, like, you know, snap their neck, Agent 47, she's probably like, I, I don't know about all that. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, well, dude, I you know as graphic as Doom is, I still consider it like a silly shooter, just how over the top it is. Plus, you know, killing demons is great, no matter who you are. Did I go in these rooms? I did I did go in these rooms? All right, I need to get my damn bearings here. I have seven jiggies. What am I missing? Seven jiggies. I got the honeycombs. Notes. Do I have... I'm missing a Jinjo? Isn't there a Jinjo in the wall? I don't remember. I'm hoping to God I don't have to look up stuff for this. Damn, I couldn't even react. I'm hoping to God I don't gotta look up stuff for this game. I know there's a... There's a... Yeah, okay. So I know where the last two jiggies are. There's one in the fans of the boat and there's one inside the boat and those i know how to get but yeah I'm, I'm sure we could convince pearl to play uh left for dead that's probably oh it's probably totally doable like no problem just just buy it for her and then bully her and be like hey i bought you this you got to play it you wouldn't want to have to disappoint your friends would you you know that you know typical fun friend gaslighting stuff that you know friends do haha <laughs> Friends, uh -huh, yeah. Gaslight. Um, uh, what am I doing here? All right, I've been up there. Ugh. Fuck you, Banjo-Kazooie. Fuck you. You're no friend of mine. Oh, shit. No friend of mine. Err. No way to kill these guys. Err. Is it? I feel like I feel like I'm going crazy. I know there's a ginger somewhere. It's like obvious. Oh, this. Oh, I'm a silly goat. I'm a little silly boy. Forgot. This slows these fucking things down. I was like, why can't I go anywhere? I can't do anything. I think there's another button for them. Where are my hands? Monday Night Combat. I don't think I've ever heard of that game. I learned about some really weird game the other day where it's like a party game and there was a there's a girl that is a character that you can play as. It's like an avatar or whatever, like you know, Mario or whatever. Uh and she has like censored bars over her. <gasps> That's the puzzle. I'm dumb. She has censored bars over her body the whole time, the whole game. It's very provocative. It's like a old PS2 game, I think. I don't know. I don't even remember what it's called. Whacked? I don't know. Oh, I fell. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh my lord. This game is rude. Oh. Speaking of um speaking of Mario. <laughs> speaking of Mario. You guys uh you guys wanna hear um a uh, conversation I had today with an AI that is uh, pretending to be Mario. I learned about a freaking fucking AI called. Oh, hello. Um, just. <laughs> oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Um, there's a. Uh, uh, what is it? There's um, so you know like there's like AI out there for all kinds of things like art. There's AI for um, like writing stories. Like oh I'll I'll make a, a a thing watch like a thousand hours of whatever. So I learned about this thing called character beta character beta AI. I'm not making this up. 
when I when I when I read this out to you. Um, the whole thing, the whole purpose is you can have conversations with characters like Mr. Krabs or Mario. So I ran out of messages, which I didn't know was a thing. So uh, here, here's my conversation with Mario that I had. I'm going to do my best Mario impression. Hello, it's me, Mario. Would you like to go on an adventure? And I just responded with, it's not your fault. He goes, what do you mean it isn't my fault? Did I do something wrong? It's not your fault. I'm not following. What is not my fault? Please explain so I can fix my wrongdoings. It's not your fault. Stop saying it's not my fault. Explain what isn't my fault. Is it the princess? Is it Bowser? Why isn't it my fault? I'm so confused and upset right now. This is a fucking robot. This is a robot talking to me. And I said, it's not your fault again. And he goes, stop. Like every, every word is a period. Stop saying it is not my fault and explain what is not my fault so I can fix it. Breaks down is like quotations, breaks down. Please just tell me what I did wrong. Tell me exclamation. I just said it again. And he all caps. What do you mean it's not my fault? What is not my fault? And then I said, the princess Mario, she's been dead for so long. You have to let go. And then Mario, this fucking robot goes, no, it's not true. I breaks down. Why? Why didn't I save her? She's gone forever. Quotation sobbing. And then I felt bad for this robot. So I went, I went, just kidding. It was all a dream. Everyone is safe. And then he goes, was it? Was it really? Is my princess really safe? Stares blankly, letting out a smile. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. I now know what I must do. I must rescue Princess Peach. Horrifying. Hor I saw somebody left after I told that story. It was scary. Mario scared me. It's like a creepy pasta, and he came to life. Horrifying. Oh my lord, is it scary? So I think I'm going to have, like, just for the, my mental health, I'm just going to talk to a character every day. That seems like it'll be really good for me. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just talking to Mr. Krabs. He's telling me to... He's telling me that the demons in my head <laughs> can't escape. It's crazy. It's horrifying. Oh, scary, scary stuff. All right. Thought I was being safe. All right, I think the fans now are slowed down enough where I can run through them. I don't think there's another like device I have to hit here. Wahoo! Wahoo! Yeah, I think that's slowed down. Enough. Oh, there's oh, there's more. There's more of them. Well, I think there's a way to. Oh shit! I think there's a way to stop them all together. Okay. Damn it. Oh, I... Oh, no, no, no. Those are the... Oh, those are the other buttons I have to hit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm having a... I'm having a brain problem. Oh, so scared. So scared to do anything. All right. We're missing nine notes. Where the hell are those? It's just I don't remember so much about this level. I try to get it out of my brain all the time. All right, that's a that's an easier one, so we'll do this one. So I can jump across the platform easier. Hey, oh, I'm so good at the game. Alrighty, I've watched people speedrun this game, and it's quite terrifying just how efficient they are at it. I'll never be good as them. Never as good as the speedrunning fellows. Okay. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I almost ate shit because of the camera there. That'd have been truly diabolical. All right, jump, go, 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 go. This time, don't run to the front of the fucking boat. 
Hey, hello, uh, Finn. I almost couldn't read your name because I'm my brain is the worst brain. I was just like, those are crazy letters in that person's name. What is that? An F? Crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. This camera is bad. Shit, shit, go, go. You missed a lot of um, wacky. You've missed a lot of wacky conversations we've been having. Talking about all kinds of insanity. Talking about like. The first time breasts were really cool to look at. Um, for, sorry, I have too many Fs. The, it is a lot of Fs. I didn't realize how many it was until just now. Um, how breasts are cool. Um, how I've never played Zelda. Uh, owning strategy guides. So many crazy things. So many crazy things. Get, get, get up. All right. What are we doing here? All right, I have to go under there. Huh, under where? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> They're fucking awesome. I, so, like, okay, I have nothing against Zelda. I think it's kind of hard to get into the older ones now just because of how they're a little bit dated. And, like, I mean, I say that. I say I say dumb shit like that, and I'm playing, playing Banjo fucking Kazooie. And I'm like, I don't know, man. The graphics and controls probably feel a little dated. Shit. I thought I'd automatically pick that up. Oh, not like this. I don't need this in my life. Come on. Turn, 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 Yeah, that's how I feel. It's like, if I go back, I don't think I'll appreciate them like everybody else does. Um, but uh, I played, dude, I, I played Breath of the Wild for like an hour. I was telling people about this earlier. I played Breath of the Wild for an hour. Thought it was all right. I enjoyed it. Died after playing for an hour. Lost everything. And then I was like, well, <laughs> I'm not playing this anymore. <laughs> and I... I honestly haven't touched it since, which is unfortunate because I don't deny it's a good game. You know, I'm never the kind of snob that's like, oh, I didn't like, you know, I didn't like it. It's not a good game. I can acknowledge when games are good and they're just not for me. Like, um, like the Walking Dead games. I know I, those are great games. They're just not for me. I, I won't enjoy them. Uh, Disco Elysium is another one people talk about. They're like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it's very like narrative and great, but I'm a stupid baby. So I... I won't enjoy it. I'm not intelligent enough. It's the whole meme of like Rick and Morty. Can't enjoy it because I'm not smart enough. Um, speaking of Rick and Morty, fun fact, everybody. Fun fact for those who didn't know, Justin Roiland. Whoo! They fucking fired his ass. Yeah, I loved Red Dead 1, but for some reason I can't bring myself to play Red Dead 2. Even though I liked Red Dead 1. I don't know what it is. My my friend explained that a, a frustrating thing about Red Dead 2 is they need to cut out a lot of, like, the middleman in, like, scenes and stuff. So, like, if you are playing uh, the game and you go to skin an animal, your guy does the whole gets down on his knees, cuts the animal. There's a cut scene. He kisses the deer on the forehead. He says, what a good boy you were. Like... It's like, oh, my God. Like, he has to get through, like, all this fucking dialogue and shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you say that. You say that. Have you played Last of Us? Because that's a fucking movie. That's a fucking movie. And um, I kind of don't, I like, I don't know. Last of Us, it's not for me. It's too narrative. It's too narrative. Which if, it's a, I feel like it's a very silly thing to say, but yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't really like Last of Us. I couldn't get sucked into it. You know, I can feel things. I, I can I can feel things like when something wants me to feel emotion. But sometimes if it's just like over the top, I'm just I'm like, OK, I feel sad now. Uh, you know, it's like I'll do what you want. 
I'll do what you want, game. I'll get emotional. Uh, get out of the oven! Yeah, 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 yeah. Old Betty. Uh, need the last of the notes. Only four left. Oh, I bet they're in here. Please, God. Get, get, get. Wow. Glad to have you back, Mr. Gromdak. I almost want to call you Gromdark every time. Ow. Okay, well, just having a party on my corpse. Just beating me up. And, and we did it. We beat the hardest goddamn level. Oh, God. Here's a here's a fun game we should all play. Uh, you can just say, okay. I don't care. I'm, I'm okay to say not say real people's names. I don't know. I got to get better at it for some things. Um, but uh, my thing is, for those of you who are listening and are able to type in chat, what is like, what's a game and maybe you don't have to get too detailed, you know, to save yourself the trouble of, you know, your hands from having to type out so much. What's a game that like made you like really feel something like the last time you felt something not like cried or like weeped or, you know, it, it, it gave you like, it gave you a genuine, a genuine reaction slash emotion to whatever crazy shit, you know, to you at least crazy shit that was happening. Undertale. That's a good one. That's a good one. I I watched somebody played that, and even though even though I wasn't playing, I was like I was like, oh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I, I've seen people play it and get pretty emotional too. I know uh, I watched Pearl play it, and I know it, it it Pearl got a little emotional a couple parts. It happens. The Last of Us Two, unpopular opinion. So I mean, okay, first thought but i'm sure there's a game i played more recently that's my thing is i can't think of a game recently but i'm sure there's been one recently so i'll say this about so more and i'll say this about last of us 2 whether you like it or hate it it it's still an emotional game like if you have attachment to those characters you're gonna you're gonna feel something like it's like you know spoiler alert when joel dies it's like oh it's pretty rough you know on the psyche especially if you love the character mine would i have to be say uh, Bioshock, the the big twist in Bioshock that really, wow. When I when I got to the twist in Bioshock, I was like, holy fuck! Like that really made me feel crazy. Ha <laughs> ha! Tentacles. Disco Elysium, yeah. I can't, man. I'm glad you like that game. <laughs> I can't do it. Disco Elysium is just not for me. I'm sure it's great. Oh, I'm sure it's so well made, but uh, too much. Oh, full on cry from a later scene. Okay. I, not to brag, I don't think, I'm trying to remember, a game's never made me cry. I don't think. I have teared up playing Banjo-Kazooie because I hadn't been able to play it for like seven, maybe six years or something like that. And I turned it on and I got emotional. But that was like, that's it, I think. I don't think anything else has done that to me. Where do I go? Pathologic 2 is a more recent game I played that made me feel... Pathologic, what is that? I don't know if I've heard of that game. I can't really recall. Getting so many game recommendations tonight. Gonna have to look up a lot of stuff. That's what I'm looking for. The poos the poosle. The poos piece. It's about being a doctor in pandemic, rough time. Oh. Oh, that sounds sad. I did watch the final cutscene for God of War right now. That did make yeah. God of War, the new one. It's pretty wild. I've seen a couple things from it. Um that the the pathological game Finn that you reminded me of there was a game I saw that was like super highly accredited or whatever and it was oh I'm dumb uh, and it was this war of mine I think is what it's called and I was like I was like no shot buddy I was like no shot in hell I play that game 
That shit will make me so sad. What do I... Well... Wait. Okay. No? Can I break? I can. Okay. <laughs> Ignore me. Yeah, a lot of people like it. A lot of people like this war mine, but... Uh, Lisa, the painful RPG is another game. I, um... I saw... I heard of Lisa, and I saw somebody play it for a little bit, but I didn't watch much. It's... It, like, kind of has, like, it's, like, silly little moments. Kind of, like, um, Earthbound is what I've heard. And then it just gets... <laughs> it just gets sad. <laughs> it just gets sad. And I'm like, I can't do that. Like... Oh, I went the wrong way. Ah! I can't. Um, I need to go down to the mouth. <laughs> I got to go in the mouth. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I I don't think of myself as a sad person to begin with, but I try not to make myself sad in other ways. I like that game because it bounces the funny with the sad, and that's, you know, is what do. Yeah. See. I watched the first season of BoJack and I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then as it got on, I was like, I was like, oh, I can't do it. Uh, I can't. It's, it's, you know, it's, I like sad things for a little bit and then something happens and I just can't do it anymore. My, my, my fucking heart, my brain, whatever. It just gives, uh, oh no, I missed it. Oh, that's what I needed. I need to go that way. Shit. And I just can't. Can't do it. <laughs> I just like sad. Am sad. So like sad. I get it. I get it. My So if I'm sad and I want to like keep feeling sad, I music is my go-to. I really, really like music to like keep me in that like sad kind of feely hours, you know? I can't do it with media because, well, I say media, like TV and games and stuff, because it just, I don't know, that, that uh, my good, can I go up this hill? Um, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's more real. Like my, uh, my significant other, she's so great. Uh, she likes this show that I do not like called, uh, This Is Us. Uh, it's just. Nobody can have a good time. And I hate that. I especially hate when, like, no character deserves to be, like, happy even for a second. And that's, like, all that show is. It's like, it's like, congratulations, you got the promotion. Oh, by the way, your dog just mauled your baby's face off and we put your dog down. It's like, what? What? What do you mean? This is us. That's the, that's the show. Oh, shit, we're getting 360 achievements. Yeah, and so my significant other, she loves This Is Us, but I, I can't, can't do it. Breaking Bad was like that for me. Poor just, yeah, I heard, I heard Breaking Bad gets sad sometimes. I don't, I haven't watched it. I don't know anything about it, but I heard it gets sad. I was like, damn. I was like, nobody, nobody can have a good time. Uh, we need to go back to the beginning of the game. Because we have done... All we can do here. Okay. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Banjo, you good? <laughs> I haven't watched very many shows, actually, lately. Now that I think about it. TV. TV is tough for me to get into. I like collect a thon platforms a lot, but I never finished either Banjo game. So I 100% don't blame you for fin finishing f f f f f Finishing Banjo uh, Super Liminal, if you haven't played it. I've played a little bit of Super Liminal, so I could probably go into it blind because it's been forever. Um, I don't blame you for finishing Banjo 2 if you played that one because it is a mega collectathon. It it's it ramps up everything you have to like get in that game. Yeah, Super Liminal. I I played Super Liminal for like. I was like 30 minutes at most. And I was like, this is fun. And then I had to like turn it off for something or whatever I was doing. Or like somebody was like, hey, come play this thing with me. And I was like, okay. So I, I think I think I could maybe one day play that. Um, that'll be on my radar. But um, <gasps> oh, I got to go back to the fucking 
Rusty Bucket Bay. Fuck. I didn't activate the Grunty Switch. Oh, well. We'll do that later. Uh, but yeah, I don't, but I don't blame you for. Oh yeah, I liked Portal. Weird thing about Portal, Portal One, I didn't have to look up anything. I did it all myself. Portal Two, I had to look up like one or two puzzles. I was like, I really don't know what to do, and it just came down to my eyes couldn't see the fucking thing I was supposed to look at. I'm fucking blind. Portal games rock so hard. I thought I thought Finn said Portal games get me rock hard, and I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> so we got a true fan in the audience. Oh, you know they can't count that high. Give me a break. But yeah, Banjo Banjo Two. I don't blame anybody for not finishing Banjo Two, because I've only beaten it once, and uh, they do get me rock hard. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah, uh, Morty. That's a great idea. I, I think I think with with my mental anguish and your smarts, I think we could achieve. I think we could beat them because I I I did the first level. I think I've only done the first level in Portal Co-op with my uh, not so nice stepfather. Um, he was very critical. Should be, yeah. I like that idea because I was, I was funny. I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh man, I want to stream. You know, I can't wait to stream Sons of Forest together. But I was like, what's another fun game we could like stream together before then? I like that uh, co-op. I don't think I have Portal Two. I could easily pick it up though. I can't imagine it's expensive. But anyway, talk about Banjo because to go back to what Finn was talking about. So. I don't believe anybody finishing Banjo Tooie. It's just, it's a collectathon. It's too much of a collectathon. And it's a lot more open ended. And you have to go back to the goddamn levels constantly. Constantly. You play Tooie first? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I usually, I'm like, oh yeah, you can play games out of order. Like, who cares? But Banjo, Kazooie, and Banjo Tooie, they're so vastly different. And there's like, there's only one level you have to backtrack to in Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tooie, each world you have to backtrack to like multiple times. It is, in my opinion, not good. It is not a good like way to design a game. <laughs> Fuck that, yeah. You, you have to, it's like, you think you're gonna beat the game, but then you have to collect like 30 more things to get like the Omega prize and you get to like fight the real ending and all that stuff. It's really annoying. This game's the same. Um, you do a quiz show, and then once you do the quiz show, if you don't have enough jiggies, you can't fight the last boss. So it's like, oh, I'll go fuck myself. Okay, good. These kids are dead. Don't mind me. Oh, was it, um, Clanker? Clanker's Cavern? Something like that? That's a, that's a, that's an annoying level. I did that when I was a kid and I was like, Mother, please! I can't do this! <laughs> I fucking can't! It's hard. It's hard. This level's... I don't want to say Click Clock Wood is hard. It's annoying, though. It's annoying. My there. I was like, am I well in the head? They're on um they're on Switch now. Well, I think the first one is. I don't think the second one is, but it's on Switch. So I say, I mean, if you got the scratch for it, I think it's actually free if you have the online service. I could be wrong. But if you got the online service or whatever, I say go for it. I think it's a great time. I'll always talk up this game. I won't say it's aged the best. Um uh, very slidey controls unfortunately like everything you do no matter where you are you slide so like if I like if I run with Banjo and I stop he fucking slides like he goes off the edge nice nice yeah do it yeah fuck it why not play it I'll, I'll recommend this game any day of the week it's great oh okay uh, uh well uh, okay hold on I I okay I'll uh, oh, 
Okay. Ow. But, okay. Uh. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god! What a nightmare! What a fucking nightmare! I don't know if you're in the click on. I I do like collectathons and platformers if they're if they're decent enough, yeah. And I've heard a lot of people talk up Hat in Time. I don't know anything about it. I watched somebody play it for an hour and thought, oh what a neat game. And I I uh I stopped watching. I um I did I do know there's like a scene scene, there's a part in the game where a scary monster is like looking for you and you have to hide from it. And it's like the game is so cute, but that part is so like horrifying to like watch. It's so scary. Yeah, I, I like collectathons as long as they're not like overbearing. Because they're they're sometimes too much. Uh all the buttons. When in doubt, pooping it. When in doubt, pooping it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I noticed in, like, playthroughs, is, like, I'll randomly catch clips from it, and I'll be like, is this the same fucking game? And I know there was DLC that came out, and, uh, people really liked that, too. Or they were a little mixed on it, I don't quite remember. I remember people talking about it, though. They were like, it's so good. And I was like, oh, bet it is. Looks like a good game. Still haven't played DLC. I'm a fake fan. Hey. I... I won't lie. When I was younger, and I was a growing boy, because I was stupid, I would recommend uh, Inscription, but I don't think you're a fan of card games. I Okay, so I like card games. I play Magic the Gathering. I spend all my money playing that, and I love it. My problem is I don't like learning other card games after having learned Magic. And so I don't want to learn more nuances to, like, more card games. And that's just, that's just a, a me problem. Um... But back to the fake fan thing. Frick play place Magic Arena online on stream. I, I can. I, I, I could I could play uh, Arena. Um I won't lie, I don't have any decks. I play I play um I play paper magic a lot. Uh like all of my decks are um uh in oh in paper and stuff. Um But my problem with Arena is I have to spend money to like have a chance to hopefully get the cards that like I want to play with, which is kind of a shame in my eyes. It's not like, you know, paper where I can just be like, oh, I want this card, and I'll buy it. Do it so I can beat you with my Tiferi deck. You could beat me with any deck. I don't have anything. Oh, best summon in the game. Or summon. Uh, transformation. Um, so, I, back to the fake fan thing. I won't lie. And I, I think this is the best part about humanity is... I summon uh Land of War Elves. I was like, what's a fucking magic card? I couldn't think of any. Um with my Exodia and Black Lotus. <laughs> you stand no chance. Okay, that goes up. There's a way to go down. Oh. Haha! <laughs> B powers, activate. Uh Fake fan. Good lord. I cannot stay on the topic. Save my life. Uh, my fake fan take. So, when I was younger, and I, I think like this is a big part of like growing up, is admitting like dumb shit you did in the past. Um, I used to be gatekeepy, a little gatekeepy asshole. And I, I hate it. I hate that about me that I used to do that shit. I mean, this was a long time ago, granted. But it's like, there was no reason to be fucking gatekeepy about shit. Like, I remember like, What's a good example? I remember somebody was talking about something one time. It might have been... Oh, fuck, what was it? It was like Halo, maybe? That was like cool at the time I was a kid. And they were like talking about something. And I was like, I was like, you're fucking dumb. That's not what happens. Blah, 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 blah. Or do you even play the games? Blah, blah. Yeah, and I agree. I agree with that Im uh, immensely. Uh, Finn, it's like, don't, there's no reason to gatekeep. Like, it's just, it's stupid. It's a waste of everybody's time, waste of everybody's life. I, I try to be very accommodating, um, when it comes to, like, 
new people to a fandom and stuff when I want them to join in and, you know, have a good time. A, a really good example of that recently is I was complaining it's like two streams ago. I was complaining about Warhammer because I love I love Warhammer. It's so silly. Um, and it's very clearly like a parody of, you know, like dictatorships and insane beliefs and like zealous, zealous behavior and everything. And I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, be here. Ha -ha! Um, oh, but there's a buddy up there. And um, what was it? Uh, <laughs> um, what was it talking about? Warhammer. I was complaining on another stream that I really don't like how lately Warhammer pictures and art and stuff have been used by Alpha Sigma Omega males to like peddle their bullshit so like i call myself a fake fan all the time yeah yeah i get that too i, I make fun of myself all the time and i don't like remember something and i'm like uh oh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a goober um but uh, uh this is a really annoying sound in my ears <laughs> this, <laughs> this thing is making me sick go mr fuzzies Oh. Uh, but yeah, I was complaining about like, I've been seeing it a lot lately where these guys who are like, women only bring you down. They waste your time. Women are only for, you know, they're only for making babies or whatever. And they have these stupid fucking ideas. And, um,. They'll post that shit over top of uh, like images of Warhammer, and it makes me so annoyed, so annoyed every time. Just like, god damn it! Like, I hate when other people bring down your um, your own fandom that you like love or whatever. It's like, fuck, dude! You can't like nobody can have anything good nowadays. So awful. So awful. Oh, shit. Whenever somebody's like, I'm an alpha male, I tell them I'm a turbo male. Try and one-up them. Oh, you're an alpha male? Pfft, that's for fucking beginners, dude. I'm a turbo male, dude. I'm fucking turbo. I'm out of control. You can't stop me. Oh, I'm just swinging at nothing. My voice is getting a little hoarse. I need to... It's turbo time. And then they and then they and then they start crying for help. And then one of them has their foot stuck in the toilet. And then when you go to help him, he pulls it out like it wasn't even stuck. And then they laugh at you. And then they run into the other room. Fucking love that show. But dude, I can go on and on about Sigma males and shit co-opting nerd hobbies because a lot of men and hobbies are lonely and looking for avenues. These asses are taking advantage of their loneliness. Sorry, that was like No, I mean that's fine. I mean, we're all having a chat here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like Wow, way to bring the fucking mood down, which is funny because I was talking about another streamer I saw recently who did that same shit where they were like, you're bringing the fucking mood down. And all they were doing was like talking about loss in their family after the streamer asked. But anyway, um, no, I mean, I like having these kind of discussions. It's um, they're, they're nice to have because I feel like we often have them with ourselves and not enough with other people so that we can like we can learn like uh, not everybody's like this. Oh, yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Good, good, good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that guy was a dickhead. Um, but we won't get into that. Uh, but I feel like it's good to have kind of conversations like these because it's nice to know that other people don't think as insane as the shit you see online. So, like, I'll see so many of these, like, alpha male, I don't need no lady kind of things. Women only bring you down or whatever. Please don't take that out of context. Um... And it's like, it'll always be like, a hey, oh boy, a, like an image from like Halo or an image from, you know, clipped reported. No, um, uh, shit like that, like, like Warhammer or whatever. Like I saw one where it was like, men are supposed to go die out in war and not wear dresses. And it was an Imperial Guardsman from Warhammer in the winter time. And I was like my brother in christ 
No, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You're a psycho. I hate it. Like, Andrew Tate, you can clip this. I've said this several times now. Andrew Tate, I hope he's murdered by a woman. Because I think that's TOS. I'm going to stop. <laughs> don't clip that. I don't know. I, Andrew Tate's a bad fucking person. <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's too late. I've said it. Uh, <laughs> this is the kind of extremist we're looking for. Fucking frick brick. Yeah, I, I, I just realized how insane that sounded on stream. So I, I apologize to everybody listening. But I, the reason I say that is because he's so, like, he's so evil. He's so evil towards women. So I find that to be like the ultimate justice in this world is if. <laughs> A woman killed him, but I gotta stop. I just ah! <laughs> I'm okay. I didn't fall. I didn't die. We're all good. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Uh this cute, funny little Baron Bird game. <laughs> Andrew Tate. He's gonna die. <laughs> uh that didn't sound okay. Uh Oh, I apologize. I went too far. I apologize. I just, I hate that guy. I hate him so much. And I hate his fans. Ugh. It's vile. Vile, vile, vile stuff. What's a happier thing we can talk about? <laughs> What's a good thing we can talk about? Uh, but yeah, you know, back to the topic of gatekeeping. You know, I try to really be accommodating, like, especially with magic. I love teaching people magic. I love it so much. I, when people are like, "Hey, can I learn?" I'm like, "Absolutely, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you." I taught Pearl. Uh, I taught Pearl how to play magic, um, a little bit. She's super busy, so we don't get to do it that often. But uh, I taught her how to play. Yeah, and she had fun. And uh, Moradin refuses to learn how to play because she's scared she'll start spending a lot of money on the on the game, which is. Not wrong. I thought I wouldn't spend a lot of money. Ah, uh, I... Oh, yeah. I spent a lot of money. Oh, careful how you word that, sir. <laughs> no, yeah, I know myself. It'd become a problem. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I also love getting people into D&D. &D. Um, it's a little tough to do sometimes because, you know, people are pretty nervous about, you know, doing it and getting into it. But when you when you can really get people into it, it's awesome. It's a very awesome feeling. I enjoy it a lot. It's it's nice. It's nice to get people into your hobbies. You know, video games, anything like that. My significant other is a good example. She didn't play a lot of games. She only played like The Sims. And I got her into Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh but I got her into like Animal Crossing stuff. Yeah, I. so it's funny you mentioned that, uh, Finn. I've seen a lot of people lately start talking about board games. And I feel like a lot of people didn't, you know, when I was like growing up and stuff. But it feels like board games have really had like a really big surge in popularity. And like, it's just a, it's a great thing to do with friends. I I have some pretty close friends that um, they're big into board games too. They'll, they'll buy all kinds of ones. But... They're pretty competitive, and they've already learned the game. So they'll teach me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. And they shit on me, and then they're mean, and they beat me, and they, they keep beating me. And I'm like, I don't want to play anymore. I'm not having a good time. Worms. Eek. Hungry animals like... Caterpillars? Are they caterpillars? No. They're worms. That's a bummer, dude. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, everybody, everybody's got their quirks. You know, I don't hate them for it. They're they're good people, but a little competitive. A little competitive. Da, da, da. Da, da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Where are we going here? I know the water's dried up. Mr. Beaver needs my help. Hey, I, I, 
Finn. Finn, I know. Finn, I know you probably haven't caught these last two banjo streams. But I'm fucking trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it one day. I'm gonna get good. Uh-oh, I see a camel we have to go harass. <laughs> camel friend. Oh! I was I looked at chat! Uh. Oh no, it's you too again! It's the circle of life! Alright. Miss Marna, don't even don't even listen to him because you're in Alaska. You're too far away for us to even play the game together anymore. Because you moved away and left all your friends to rot. <coughs> Sorry, what? Now you're blaming chat for your mistakes. I die! Uh, yeah! Yeah! You know, if if I can if I can get rid of some of the blame, I'm gonna do it, you know? Hey! Did you talk some it? No! 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 She actually lives in <laughs> just like blurted out. The the running joke. The running joke is uh Morden lives in uh, Alaska. Same thing with Pearl. Pearl also lives in Alaska. I live in Alaska. Fuck it. We all live in Alaska. Finn, you live in Alaska. Gromdak, you live in Alaska. We're all having an Alaska. Hey! My sweet, sweet significant other just walked in the house. Okay, well, that's... Don't... You don't have to give me the finger. That's not nice. That's not... Shit. What? Oh, thank you. I love you. Yeah, but do you know how big Alaska is? I learned this recently. Alaska is pretty big. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's pretty, it's, do you know how big that place is? It's pretty, it's pretty big. <laughs> Alaska, big place. So big. I have to come back here in the winter time, I believe. What a fun fact. Yeah. Hey, fun fact. Alaska? Pretty big. Pretty big. If you didn't know. There's a, speaking of doxing, Miss Morden, there's a really funny um, inside joke that I have with some friends where Thanos is the most evil being in all of existence. And my friends and I were like, wouldn't it be really funny if, uh, Thanos in the middle of the movie just stopped, looked at the camera, and said your full name, started listing out your address and your social security number, and just started doxing you. And he just and, and then the movie just acts like nothing happens and just keeps going. That is the funniest shit in the planet to me. Just Thanos just turns camera and goes, uh, I don't know, we'll make up a name. Bill Billy. <laughs> California uh County in California, I don't know. Your zip code one 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 one, and just says like your whole fucking address and shit, and then starts giving out like he's only home during these times. It just completely sells you out. No, no, Thanos, no! Not during my favorite Marvel movie. Billy, Billy. Well, okay. So here's the problem I was having. Why I said Billy, Billy. I literally just kept thinking of real people's names that I know, and I was like, uh. Fuck! Uh, uh, and my fucking head was malfunctioning. Oh, you tried. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Up. Up, 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 up. I don't even need to get those anymore because I already have the last little transformation. I don't... No, I think I have to go over here. I think it's like a shortcut. I skipped some stuff, which I do have to go back because I have to check for notes. Worms. Delicious worms. Bill, Bill Westcott. <laughs> Yo, dog, you just gave away some random person's shit. Do you know there's a guy named Bill Westcott out there somewhere? And that's his information. 
You've sold him out. You're a bad person. I'm getting the police. It's not. You don't know that. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, shit. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. He exists in my head. <laughs> that is a that is a horrifying emote. You came in at the, the most perfect time, Sea Shanty. Oh gosh. Oh Lord in heaven. Yeah, you no, that's a just like all of y'all. Yeah, none of this is real, right? <laughs> none of this is real. I can just do whatever I want. And no one can stop me. Oh my god. This camera! This camera, dude. I hate it. I hate it. It's a whole that's the difficult part about recommending this game, is the camera will give you eyesores. It'll make your eye holes bleed. The camera will jerk so violently to the side, and you're like, ah! I have to go kill bees now. Oh, those are great emotes. Where'd you get those? Those are great. I want cool emotes. A honey bear, he's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Sting him! Zubba's! Can't just call somebody that. Alright. The best attack in the game! Shit, shit! Yeah, but yeah, I think Thanos would be a really good character if he just doxed people instead. That's what they should have done with his character arc in the second movie. Instead of using his sword as a helicopter, um, he should have just been like, I'll dox you, Captain America. <laughs> Iron Man, if that is your real name. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thanos, don't do it, please. Don't say my middle name on stream. <laughs> I've got to do it. Go, oh, come on. Up, 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 up. Man, it is. Miss Morden's really got me questioning things here because I was like, I'm not the bad guy in this game. Everybody else is the bad guy. I literally walk into every single civilization in this game and I destroy it. I destroy their culture, their lives, their homes. Oh, Banjo Kazooie's not a good person. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I couldn't even comprehend what happened there. I couldn't even process it. Holy shit. I hate this fucking level. Damn. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Also, funny opinion, but. Go ahead, share your funny opinion. Share with the class. There are no wrong opinions, but some of them are. Wait. So scary number. No! No, Peel, no! Don't make Thanos do it! <laughs> I'm gonna say his social security number on stream. I've always hated him. Please send us now. Oh my god. All right, up we go, up we go, up we go. In we go. Okay, okay. All right, I don't think I can get that jiggy from here. I think I have to wait for the house to be done. Which I think is in the fall, if I remember correctly. Haha, <laughs> fall, get it? Because I'm going to fucking fall. Whoa. Whoa, cherries. What the hell did you just share in my chat? You're going to get yourself banned, sir, by, like, the auto mods. What the hell? That looks insane, whatever you just typed into my chat. That was me. I know it was you. What? Who else would it be? Oh my god. He's gonna dox himself. 
I like what is it that um what's that meme where it's like uh he's like it was it it's this guy's like talking shit and he goes yeah fuck all you guys you guys are fucking haters and if you want to fight about it <laughs> my uncle will kick your ass he lives here at this address <laughs> and the uncle's by him like no what the fuck do I have to hurt you no can't hurt him I would appreciate it if you didn't dox me I, I, I would really prefer that I don't think I don't think um I don't think the Lord will be so kind on judgment day to you no doxing please I love, I, I like to imagine, I like to imagine Finn saying that in the most polite way. Just like, somebody's like, I'm gonna dox him! <laughs> and they're like, they're saying it with like such rage and malice. And Finn's like, no doxing, please. Don't do that, please. That's not nice. <laughs> Just a very nice, genuine person. Don't do that. Please don't. Yeah, eat him up. Wrist just puffs, wrist just puffs. Eat him up, eat him up, eat him up. That's not kind. I'm actually an ass. <laughs> as soon as somebody's like, Finn sounds like a nice person. I'm actually a monster. <laughs> That's more than she knows. I've seen you. I've seen you be a little terrorizer in uh, Hurl and Morden's chat. It's kind of funny. <laughs> We're good. Just got to do this all again. I do it all again. Oh, hello, Zenokas. Thanks for stopping by. What is that? Hey, what's that crown next to your name mean? I don't remember. I think a sword means moderator, doesn't it? I'm still not even phase. Prime. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I had no idea. I'm, I mean, I'm a streamer and I don't know this shit. So like, <laughs> embarrassing. Prime Minister. Oh, I looked over and thought Peel the Wheel said Prime Minister. I was like, oh, what? He's the Prime Minister. <laughs> you guys remember when that supermodel that looked just like Ben Stiller tried to kill the Prime Minister of Malaysia? That was crazy. You guys remember that? Was that not a documentary? So many Prime Ministers in chat. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's... Okay, whew. I don't like this part. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Nothing... Nope. No, sir. You are... Whatever. Can I get the pog... <laughs> Guys, can we get poggers in the chat for... Uh oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, pogs in the chat for all my prime ministers. <laughs> That's that's what that'll be a redeemable voice that I'll do when I'm uh uh big when I'm on top. People have like channel points and stuff. I want a channel points. Can't wait. And I'm gonna be like talk like an absolute dork. Like two thousand points. One thousand. One thousand points. One thousand channel points to talk like a dork. I'll do it. I'll do anything for. I'll do anything for us. A, a sly bit of attention. Where am I? Go Shit, I cannot. God, I can't stop falling. Dude. I, you'll never. Oh, you'll never inherit the estate. I. So. I'm going to be. I'm going to be fucking for real right now. When I heard that Matt Pat gave the Pope a copy of Undertale, I did not believe it. I did not think it was real. I, yeah, I know. More fucking caterpillars. Uh, I legit was like, well, that's not real. And people were like, no. No, he did that. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no. No. I did, I did not think it was real. I had like... I, I like double, triple, quadruple checked online. I was like, I like looked at all these sources. This man gave a, I like, how? How does MatPat, out of all the gamers in the world, how does MatPat acquire enough power, like Super Saiyan strength to have the energy 
to give the Pope. Fucking Undertale, dude. How'd he do it? How'd he do it? Now, real talk. Big. Here's the main question. If you could, if you could give the Pope, if, if you could give the Pope any game and you were like, play this and the pope played it you gave the pope a game and you're like mr pope i need you to play this game and it'll all make sense what game do you give the pope what game and let's just say for the sake of saking and sake of argument that the pope actually oh wrong ability uh the pope um he knows how to play it like he like he can pick it up pretty well and he won't play it like a like 80 year old geriatric man who doesn't know what a video game is but let's let's just play like crazy pretend right now what game Excuse me. What game do you give the Pope? What is it? Cause me, I don't fucking know. So like Matt Pat, good job giving him Undertale, I guess. Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I like that one actually. I like the idea of Minecraft. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. What do you give him? Minecraft. Undertale's no. You got you something else, Finn. Don't be like Matt Pat. You can't, you can't, you can't copy Matt Pat. Matt Pat's already been there and done it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your own thing. What will you do, Finn, with all this power you've been handed? Oh. Delta Rune. <laughs> that feels like a cop out. Uh, it's like, it's like, hmm. Somebody already said Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Banjo Tooie, <laughs> Devil May Cry Five. It's a good one. Doom, Delta Rune. I like I like all these answers quite a bit. To like an exorbitant amount, I like these answers. These are great. Shh, fuck off, whatever you are. Uh, Demon Souls. I want to see if the man breaks. Now, now here's a question. Okay, here's a better thing. I. I think if you're trying to watch the Pope break from a game, like how it being hard. Now, you, you can agree to disagree with me here, but Sinokis, do you not think that Sekiro would be better? Do you not think that would break the Pope? Be, be, be honest with yourself. Look inside yourself. Do you think Sekiro would break him more than Demon Souls? Sekiro broke me. <laughs> Gromdeck speaking, speaking from personal experience. I know what it did to me, and it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I I think I beat that game. I don't remember. Oh, it broke me so hard I couldn't spell it. Sekiro, come, Sekiro. Right, that's it. I mean, yeah, but there's just parts where I know this man will get stuck and want to see it. I at least got the end of Sekiro. That's fair. That's a good point. Out of all of the Dark Souls-esque games, which ones did you want to continue the least? And I'll be honest with you. Mine was Sekiro. And I've never actually played Demon's Souls. I have not owned the devices to do it. I guess I could play it on PC through, like, emulators, but I'm too lazy to do all that shit. <clears throat> God damn it, I can't turn into a bumblebee. I thought I could. I can only do that in the spring? Fuck. Oh, but. Oh, I'm dumb. I think. I. You know what? I know what, Finn. You know what? I think if you're trying to be a genuine nice guy to the Pope. I think Animal Crossing is a good time for him, but I like to imagine that he turns into every other Animal Crossing player where they're like, this is my island. I guess we'll just consider the most recent game. This is my island, and, uh, <laughs> and this is my character. These are my villagers. Oh, that's... That's Burger Boy. I fucking hate his fucking guts. And it's like a little cute duck. <laughs> it's I can't fucking stand him. <laughs> what? He had a what? Also, 
Miss Borden, you didn't give your answer. You got to give your answer if you're going to be part of the conversation. You can't add to it unless you add to it genuinely. So what game are you giving the Pope? <laughs> also, Finn, you can't just say that. And not say, like, oh, Come on, keep it going. What's this about Joe Biden? Soda! <laughs> Classic Joe Biden. CNN. Joe Biden has his own island on Crossing where you can learn about his campaign. Shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up right now! That is not real. You are crazy. <laughs> Joe Biden, huh? The old, <laughs> the old Joester. <laughs> he got his, he got his own island. How do you do, feel like It's early pandemic. Okay, okay. Early pandemic. Nothing in here. You killed us all. I kind of forgot that Animal Crossing released during the pandemic. God, the pandemic, that seems like forever ago now also. What a crazy time to be alive. Nintendo shortly after Joe Biden did this was, hey, like, hey, don't do that. But why? What's wrong with like, what's wrong with them doing that? It's weird. It's really weird. Like any political person did that. That'd be so weird. But like, I don't know. It, it, like, I guess do it. I mean, like, I'm not going to stop you. That's so crazy. Nintendo was like, yeah, uh, knock it off, Joe. <laughs> and a big, big Nintendo bringing our president down. Don't you dare fucking go to Animal Crossing ever again. That's wild. That's wild. Hey, the bridge is done. Almost. I like how things get built in this level. It's cute. Oh, the acorns. Oh, no. I forgot about this. If it was for political purposes, I could see why. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's for political purposes. Oh, okay. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. That's so crazy to think about. Hey, everybody. It's Joe Biden here. Come on down to my lovely village and come look at all my constituents. That is fucking hilarious. I think I think Finn, with that statement alone, Joe Biden having a Animal Crossing Island, made my day. I made it. Yeah, I was gonna say when when she I was gonna bring that up when AOC played Among Us. I don't. Well, that's not true. I was about to say people weren't getting up in arms about it, but the obviously her political opponents were all mad about it because they were like, she plays video games or whatever. Um. But I don't understand, like, I don't know, the, um, the Among Us people weren't mad as far as I know. They were pretty chill about it. But I feel like, I feel like AOC advertised her Animal Crossing Island too. On, um, on like Twitter once. I don't, I don't know who that is. DK, <laughs> DK64 though. Good game. Um, what the hell? I went right through it. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that guy is, unfortunately, or that that person. Um, huh? Yeah, I know she's made a few appearances on things. H, he's a YouTuber. I love him. H, how do you say his name? Homer guy, Bomer, Bomer guy, H, Boomer guy. I'm not trying to be mean here. I really am dumb. Make hey, cool video dogs. I might have to check them out. I always, I'm always looking for more uh, YouTubers and stuff to follow. <laughs> Bomber guy. Oh, okay, I am dumb. I was looking at. I was. I saw the H and was like, malfunction, malfunction. I spelled it wrong. Ah, you're fine. I ain't worried about it. Wait, you spelled his name wrong? Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake fan. <laughs> Go in on him! Go in on Finn! Get him! Gate <laughs> I like to imagine you snap your fingers. Gate kept again, like uh, the fox from uh, whatever it's called, uh, Dora the Explorer. Oh man, he gate kept the swiper. That's his damn name. You know that guy from the Dora. All right, cool. Fake fan, fake. Oh no, you got me back! 
That's a fucking. That's the. That's the. That's the fastest fucking. That's the fastest fucking Uno reverse I've ever seen in my life. Damn. Damn. Fucking quick with it. Fuck. Got me right back. Damn it. Die, please. I must send you to heaven. <laughs> JK, they're not going to heaven. I love it. It hits Terry to go to the origin of. Oof, son of a bitch. Oh, the. Um, gosh, the Roblox sound that's no longer actually in the game anymore. They had to change it. <laughs> that's good. That's good, Morden. I like that a lot. I think rubs hands together. I think I'd want him to experience the Catholic Church through a video game. I like that a lot. That's good. That's very funny. <laughs> That's perfect. Miss Morden, when did you get so clever? All that school's paying off. Thanks to college, I know the perfect game to give to the Pope. Oh my god, I did it again. Mr. Eagle. Crusader Kings. That's a good one. Crusader Kings, that's perfect. Now, now, Mr. Pope, you need to tell the Pope what to do. Hellsing Ultimate. You um you make him watch. You make the Pope watch. Dragon Ball Z abridged, and you tell him that's the actual dub. <laughs> oh, I, hey, I'm not, I totally get what you're, I totally get what you're saying, Morden. I totally get what you're saying. You don't, you don't gotta explain it to me. I'm right there with you. Uh, where am I going? Woohoo! Yay! I'm a bear! I gotta go down this hill. Tree. It, uh, tall. It's a building. Ha! Ah. Eh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, is there water down there to fall in and not die? Yes, there is. Hey, you fuck off, mister. Yeah. All right. Now we go to Winter World. And, uh, we get, uh, we get the rest of our shit. And I think the last Jinjo's there. We gotta do some other stuff too. Oh, where's the... I thought I was gonna finish the game tonight, but I've been streaming for like almost two and a half hours, so I'm probably not gonna actually. I'm like, oh, it's, it's 8.30 my time. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon. Night? The afternoon. Brain. <laughs> it doesn't work well. Um, yeah, no, I'm a big fan of giving the Pope the most absurd pieces of media that he's probably never known existed. And just being like, hey, take this. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is no idea. Can I get up here? I can't. Cool. All right. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, die! <laughs> I got a little. I got a little into that. I really wanted that guy dead. Don't actually remember if killing all these fellows gives me stuff. I know it doesn't in another world. Show him for affinity. Isn't that gone now? Isn't isn't for affinity gone? I wouldn't know. I haven't looked. I haven't checked. I, just, I don't. I don't like. What did I, I don't. I, I don't know. It's it's just it's what I've heard. I think. I, you know. Hey, give me a picture. Uh, I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. Nobody told me. Somebody told me. I mean, somebody told me. That's how I know. <laughs> oh, hey. Mumbo's on vacation. You hairy fool. Oh, okay. Oh, that feels targeted. Oh, 
Oh, what am I? I'm trying to read. Uh, okay, back to the AOC thing. I love her playing Among Us, but I fully acknowledge that is the new version of. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like the easiest way for me to warm up to a person that I especially don't even know uh, is like if they really enjoy a hobby or something that I do and they're like, oh my God, there's more of them. And they're, oh my Lord. Sorry, I'm having to use all my brain power here, folks. Because I, I, whoa, I remember one of these snowmen are on the thing I need. Not that one, damn it. Um, uh, like Henry Cavill is a really good example of this. The dude is like obsessed with Warhammer and he's so knowledgeable about it. And he seems so fucking cool and chill. He seems like such a chill dude. And you're like, I'll, I'll sit down and have a drink with that guy. Like you're, you're like, you're just, you're absorbed. Like you just you're like, yeah, yeah. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> just something about him. There he is. I knew you were here somewhere. Oh, thank God, game. Yeah, I agree. It's it's very much when somebody does something like breaking kind of the mold. It's like, oh, they're oh my fucking god. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. They're just like me for real. I mean, it's a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing when somebody you connect with somebody that you wouldn't theoretically think you'd connect with. Like, I wouldn't assume Henry Cavill would like anything I like. Like big, strong, muscly, strong, handsome man. No way he likes what I like, right? What are the what are the chances that Henry Cavill likes the shit I like? I'm betting it's not high, but it turns out it's pretty high. So hey, you never know. Oh, okay. game. So you never know. One of them things. I must destroy your homes. Uh, I thought... Could be wrong. I thought there was a place you could go under the water. Yeah. That's another thing is like... It's also a, a tinge of jealousy. Because... It's like a little, a little bit of jealousy in your heart when you see somebody famous doing something you like. Because they get to enjoy it far more than you do. Like, um, Post Malone is another good example. He loves Magic the Gathering. Oh my god, he loves Magic the Gathering. Um, the guy buys, like, a Black Lotus and every other Power 9 card and, like, destroys his bank account. But it's nothing to him. To me, I'd be homeless tomorrow if I did anything like him. It's like, oh my god. Or I don't usually get... Oh. I forgot this was here. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm here for. Show you! Yeah. They're a normal person who can enjoy the hobby more than I can sometimes. And the other thing was like... Nothing against AOC. Um, it was also a little bit jealousy because it was like, or envy, I suppose. Envy is the correct term here. When they got to play with like all these really interesting people on the game too, and they oh, God, I can't stop drowning this guy. He come, come. Yeah, I've seen Astartes. It's been a while. I remember they shoot that guy in the head. <laughs> That's as much as I remember. It's pretty good. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Did that guy just do that shit to me? All right, there we go. Ah, gotta watch that weird cutscene again. Gotta turn into a bumblebee. He got a cease and desist, I think, or he got in trouble, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people got in trouble for their fan stuff because corporations don't understand how to, like, appreciate their fans nowadays. Was he hired? I would heard they told him to take that shit down. I watched. It was like a Imperial Guard animation from Warhammer recently. I didn't think that was very good. I did watch Trazen, the Necron guy. I watched the animation for that, and that was awesome slash hilarious. He basically imprisoned some of like Abaddon's top Terminators in this <laughs> his prison for all eternity where they're stuck in time. There's a way to descend. Oh, X makes me go fast. B doesn't go down. Damn, there's no way to like quickly go down. I don't remember that being a, 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 I don't remember that being an issue. Uh oh. Uh oh, Finn. You're about to make a really good friend at a Grom deck. <laughs> He's he's a he's he's frothing at the mouth seeing that. I thought the magic worked in other worlds. Does it not? I could have swore. I wonder if it works in other ones. Damn! I thought I cheated the system. I keep saying this. Copyright law needs to go away. Yeah, there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> oh yeah, Finn, you just made a a great a great ally. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm I'm really glad my stream could bring two two anarchists together. My brother. Silly, 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 silly fellows. Uh oh shit. I need to destroy this man's back again. Uh, platonically. I do. I'm just platonically blowing this guy's back out. Platonically. <laughs> In a friendly way. I'm gonna blow this. I'm gonna blow. I mean, I'm gonna blow. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna blow. How do I get this fucking thing? There's like a trick to this. Uh, can't climb it. Fall on it? In the winter, does it come down? think hey the camel hey I look I helped the camel go to the second game so I he, uh, <coughs> yeah you're really putting me under the uh, the heat lamp here <coughs> uh, oh gosh it's not my fault uh, all right Clip. No! I'm such a clippable guy. I say so many dumb fucking things. There was a there was a stream I did uh, over the weekend. God, I thought I could jump around him. There was a stream I did over the weekend where I was just playing some silly little game and I started talking about um, like incels and like misogynists and like how they're like bad people, obviously. Um, and then I didn't like know where I was going with my thought. So I just ended it with, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, be, be, be cool to women. 
yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's 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 the end of my point. And I, was, I just didn't know how to end with the fuck I was talking about. So I was just like, I was like, be be be, be cool to women. Yeah, they 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 you know they yeah you know, they they have a hard time. I was, I was like, what am I talking about? I'm not making any fucking sense. I was like, uh, incels, you know, they're pieces of shit. But then you have guys who like pretend to be feminists so they can like trick women and they're they're bad people too. And I was like, then you have like just straight up misogynists. I was like, what am I talking about? I don't know how it even came up. I have no idea. I think I was fighting a king. Men are bad. That's the take. <laughs> I'm a very straightforward... Uh... Oh, I was looking at chat. Uh, I'm very... No! Why'd you get a combo on me? JK, but actually... that That is my favorite... That is my favorite, like, stupid meme. Where it's like, what if we... What if we took our clothes off and kissed? JK, unless... Like, that, that stupid joke cracks me up every time. There's a guy somewhere with notes in his head. But maybe, but actually, but really? For realsies? Maybe? JK, I wouldn't do that. Unless... So funny to me. So dumb, so funny. Alright, baby. Let me in. Let me in the... Whatever this is, mouth. Yay. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? Unless, question mark? What if we did kiss under the... Ah! One of my other favorite clips that I love on the internet is this um, person is playing Valorant or something. And they queue up in Valorant. Random topic for your festival joint. Uh, Wendy's, I think. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lame and generic. I think it's Wendy's. Next question. Shake Shack. Next question. I, I love Shake Shack, but we don't have anywhere I am in Alaska, unfortunately. It really sucks, and I love them. I went to Florida on vacation not too long ago, and I didn't get to go to a Shake Shack. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Bummer about Alaska. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Fucking sucks. But I was watching this um, streamer play Valorant, and they had me cracking up. It was a clip I saw of theirs, because this they they queued up and they said something, and they had kind of a high pitched voice, so they sounded you know stereotypically kind of like a woman, but it wasn't like maybe a parent. And so this guy goes in there and he goes, he goes, "Are you a?" Uh, are you a, a guy or a chick or something like that? And the fucking streamer went, the streamer went, do you want to ask me the lame way and find out? Or do you want to kiss? What is it? Do you want to ask and learn the dumb way? Or do you want to kiss and see how you feel afterwards? <laughs> something like that. And it had me, had me cracking up. I thought that was too funny. Do you want to kiss and see how you feel afterwards? Too good, too good. All we eat is Carbo. A Raisin Canes recently opened up near us. Me and Peel the Wheel are going to have to go here soon. I always hear they're really fucking good, but uh, I don't know. Never been. Raisin Canes. <clears throat> My boys, I've been talking too much. A Raisin Canes is basically Zaxby's. It's like a fried chicken joint. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty good. I, I honestly don't know much about it, to be 100% honest. Can you not, sir? Leave me be. Dun, 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 dun. So I think I'm going to get one more jiggy, and then the notes in this level... And I'm gonna call it a call it a night because I've been streaming for a while. Steak and Shake, yeah. I uh, I also love that place. They unfortunately are another place that is. Please not like this. They are unfortunately another place that is um not here in Alaska. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna take this nice and easy. 
Oh no, I've been just getting Rexo alive! God damn it! God! Ah! No, oh my god, game! Oh my lord! <laughs> Trey, how did you find him? We triangulated the... Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. That's not how I... Oh my lord. We triangulated the steak and shake, sir. <laughs> That's how we got him. Oh, nice wall. All right, there's red feathers in here. Thank God. Mmm, acorns. Yeah, you're welcome for that. Shh. <laughs> this guy's gonna freeze to death now. I just busted in his window. What do you have in here? <laughs> just... No, please. God, let me in this fucking hole, please. You know what I mean? Hey, you take care, Finn. You take care. Enjoy your board games. I hope you win, whatever the board games are. I hope you destroy your enemies. It was nice having you on stream. Oh, my lord. Oh, no. That's not what we do. There we go. I'm missing two others. I must have not gotten them from a level, but I don't know which one. Two totals? Oh! I didn't get one from the swamp? I'm missing one from Mumbo's Mountain? What? What the hell? Which one am I missing from there? That's not good. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You snowman bitch. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. Don't laugh! Oh my god. Everyone is out to hurt me. <gasps> He's all grown it up. Eerie, mighty eagle at last. Watch I fly into the sky. I have reward for bear friend. He's a little bottom heavy. Little thick boy. It's a little thick man, dude. All right. I'm just going to collect a few more notes. And then we'll call it a night. And then next stream, I'll finish up this level. Holy crap. I'll finish up this level. Which shouldn't be too much. And maybe... Yeah. And then I should be able to beat the game then. And then this game will stop looming over my head like a nightmare. All right. Well, I think we'll call it here. Uh, Maybe I'll leave the world first. I don't actually know what'll happen if I just exit from this world. I'll die. Um. Anyway. Uh. Let's get down here. Oh well, let's get. Uh, we can get like a couple more notes, maybe. No, I'm in a silly little mood. Haha. <laughs> Jump around this asshole. Okay, well, I'm not getting those notes today. Haha, <laughs> silly. Silly game. <laughs> I didn't want them anyway. Making our way back. Da -da 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 -da. Gonna get some nice... Oh, oh God, my guy is having a problem. Gold feathers, very important. Gold feathers, very important. 
I think tonight has been filled with, you know, pretty good conversation. You know, Pope, video games, gatekeeping. What else do we talk about? Favorite fast food restaurant. Good games that make him emotional. Good shit. It's good shit. Oh, uh, what? Okay. I don't know what that means. Juicy thighs. Um. So, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for lurking if you didn't chat. I hope everybody has a great weekend coming up. You know, lovely Friday on the horizon. Have a good one. Everybody take care. And have a good night. And what else can I say? Nice. Oh, that's right. My 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 sign off. Don't forget to love yourself. Take care. And see you. <laughs>